Do you have ideas of installing stone cladding tiles on the exterior walls of your home? Do you sometimes wonder the look and feel they can achieve for your home? Or are you an architect and wanted to use stone cladding tiles to achieve the decorative idea you had in your mind? Well, in this video, you'll discover an upcoming estate project in Dome that used these decorative tiles to spruce up the exterior facade of the houses. We visited this project with George from Gemna Mazeras and Natural Stones as he supplied all the stone cladding tiles for this project. A while back, we did a video with him where he explained what stone cladding is in detail. You can watch that video after this one. Link is in the description. With that, enjoy the informative discussion we had with George. And in case you don't understand Kiswahili, press the CC icon on YouTube for English subtitles. Leo tukwa pa daome, na endelea na installation installation ya wall cladding. Na kama vile unaona, tunaweka blue stone na yellow stone bush cladding. Hizi ni running. Mhm. Eh tunaendelea kukimaanisha running. Unamaanisha aje? Running na maanisha haitoshani urefu. Mhm. Kiangalia kuna mrefu, kuna fupi, zote tu kuna mrefu na kuna fupi kuna refu kama vile tu mawe inatoshana kutoka kwa kwari mhm mm tunai tunaiweka tu square na tunatengeneza okay mm. sasa nikikumbuka kwa video tulifanya mwisho hii ni bush cladding si ndio eh aya na mawe ni gani hii mawe ni blue stone mm -hmm. tunaita blue stone garden ni dark grey inatoka sehemu ile njiro na hii nayo ni yellow stone Eh bado bush inatoka sehemu na huku maimahi. Mhm. Mm eh sasa unaweza tuelezea dimension za hii mawe. Eh hii toka hapa mpaka hapa hiyo ni 200 mm mm -hmm. ama 8 inches. Urefu ni running hazitoshani. Inaenda fupi mrefu, fupi mrefu. Lakini ile kitu muhimu ni itoshane hapa. Gesa ile inawekwa inaingia vizuri. Okay. Inayo ni 100 mm running ama 4 inch. Hiyo nayo ni running bado. Toka hapo mpaka kwa 4 inch kwenda hivi ni run haitoshani. Mhm. Mm ina run kulingana na 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 ukuta wa vinyiziko. Okay. Eh yeah. kula naangalia anaona hii design pengine amependezwa na hii color ama ako na design nyingine ako nayo kwa hiyo. So kama jamna mazera kuna designs gani mtu anaweza kucheza nazo ukifika sasa tenye finishing eh, ziko ziko kadhaa mm -hmm. ama ziko mingi kuna hii sasa unaona wanaotanet wanaenda mbili za za dark grey ama blue stone moja ya yellow kuna mwingine anataka yote ikuwe blue stone mm -hmm. kuna mwingine anataka ikuwe yellow stone anaotanet yellow stone blue stone lakini ikuwe same size hii size ndogo yeah. ama hii size kubwa e, sasa design mingi pia kuna mwingine anataka zile ambazo zimetoshana sio running tuseme for instance ni 200 by 300 mm mm -hmm. ama 100 by 300 mm ama 200 by 200 mm yeah sizes ziko tu mingi sasa client ndiye anaamua okay mm. na hapa kwa dirisha nini ni nini itafanywa sasa hii ni molding imefanywa yeah kini ni timu nyingine imefanya molding Eh hii sasa ni rangi tu watapaka tu rangi huko ndani. Oh, okay. tu iko pamoja na hiyo molding. Oh, hawatafanya stone cladding. Hapana, hii hii iko venye tu iko hivyo, hii iko complete. Ni kuoshwa tu na kupakwa. Okay. Eh. Sasa tuseme ukiapproximate hii ukuta mm. kama hii tu. Inaweza kwa ime cost pesa ngapi kwa kwa hii bush cladding? Sasa hii eh, ni around 20 square meters. Yes hiyo ni around 20 square meter na square meter moja saa hii ni 2000 2000 eh okay so hiyo ni around 40000 40000 yeah mm. okay lakini hiyo eh. ni approximate tu inaweza pungua ama ikuwe ndogo okay eh. so sasa hapa ndio mawe zilimwagwa mm. ndio zikuwe tayari kuwekwa kwa ukuta eh umesema hii kubwa hivi hmm. dimension yake ni hii sasa bado ni 200 uh -huh. urefu hivyo 
inaweza kuwa 300 ama 400 lakini hii approximate ni 400 mm okay eh, na hii thickness ni 20 mm oh thickness ni 20 mm eh, na hii ndogo hii ndogo sasa inawekwa hivi ndio sabuku oh, inasimamishwa eh, nimeona sabuku ndio 200 Okay. Sasa kutoka hapa mpaka ni tu, mpaka hapa ni 200 mm kwenda hivi inaweza kuwa around uh, 150 mm lakini nimeiweka hivyo sababu ni rani huwezi kuwa sure sana mpaka tu upime yeah. lakini hapa niko sure ni 200 mm hapa okay. ndio zilimwogo za maimahi eh hey, zote ziko hapa mm-hmm. inayo inayo ni 100 bad mm ama 4 inches thickness ni 20 mm. Okay. Eh, nikichukua kama hii, eh, ona zimekatwa grips. Sasa hii grip, hizi mm. grips zinawekwa sababu lazima lazima ikuwe na na, na, na uwezo wa kujishikilia kwa wall, ikiwekwa ikiwa smooth, chances za kuanguka ziko juu. Lakini mm-hmm. ikiwekwa grips hivi kama tiles ina, inaweza kujishikilia angalia wall ni imepigwa rough plaster. Mm. Eh, sasa huku ndio kuna face kwa nini? wall na hii nayo ni nje. Hii ndio sasa face ya huko kwa kuta. ni hii. Mhm. Hii ndio ndani. Yeah. Lazima iwekwe hizo grips ndio kukuwa na friction nzuri. Eh. Ishike ishike nzuri na hii. Eh. Okay. Yeah. Niko nataka unieleze sasa unaona ukiangalia mm-hmm. kuanzia pale hadi hapa mm. imefika kwa kona. Sasa eh. huwa wana handle laje kona. Kona? Eh. Yeah. Kama hapa sasa. Ukiangalia utaona kona hapo wameacha moja mrefu nyingine fupi kama toothing mm-hmm. sasa ile inatoka ile side inaingia hapa ndani hiyo ya mai mai itakuja ingia hapa eh font itakuja ingiane na hiyo yenye imetoka ile side mm-hmm. hii nayo eh inakuja inatoka kidogo ndio ikikishikana iki, na ile ina, inailalia kabisa ina flash hapa ndio maana wameweka hii kamba hii kamba ni kuchukua eh, level ndio mawe ipelekane na ukuta vile iko. Yeah. Eh, okay. Sije ikapotea. Eh, mm. Tukikuja hapa ndio tunaona waki, wakiweka sasa mawe. Eh. Simiti ndio hii. Eh. Hii simiti wewe inachanganywa na mchanga ama tu ni simiti? Ni simiti na mchanga. Eh. Lazima ichanganywe na kwa mchanga kale kama chungwa. Yeah. Eh, inachanganywa. Uh-huh. Eh, alafu sasa isikuwa imekauka sana ndio ijishikilie. Eh, kikauka sana hiyo mm. mawe kaacha. Okay, so inafaa kuwa fresh tu. Eh. Okay. Yeah. So wataendelea tu hivyo mpaka ile level ya eh wanaenda wakiotanate mm-hmm. venye tu iko kiangalia hiyo ni rough. Wataendelea tu wakiotanate hivyo pole pole inawekwa hii yellow blue mbili yellow mpaka mahali client amesema tufikishe pale juu ndio. Oh, tukikuja hivi. Eh. Client anataka ikuwe tu just above the dirisha. Eh, hiyo ndio design ya architect. Yes. Sasa tunafikisha tu hapo penye iko. Inafika hapo juu. Hapo tunamalizia. Yeah. Kingine wanaweza piga eh, Mbona wamepiga wall master ya wall white master, rough yeah. and tough ama rangi. Okay. Lakini sisi tunafikisha hapo. Sawa. Eh. kwa gaps za stone cladding kwa mnajaza nini ndi iweze kutokea vizuri eh, kwa hizi gaps kuna saile labda mawe imebak imebakisha kadap kadogo huwa saile tunakata ile mashini inatoa matope hiyo matope mm-hmm. ya hiyo hiyo mawe ndio inakuja ijaze sababu ukinunua grout ya kujaza haitafanana kabisa yeah utaona ukiwa mbali utakuwa unaona imeachana haifanani lakini ukichukua ya hiyo kala ya hiyo mawe ukikuja ukijaza nayo before upige clear paint eh, ina, inafanana kabisa hiyo ndio tunatumia kusili hizi gaps okay hiyo matope in case of breakages na mambo za kona na cuttings kwa mna deal aje na hiyo hiyo saile client ana order anaipe allowance eh, square meter kadhaa extra hizo ni za kukata kuna mahali kuna inahitajika mawe kidogo inakatwa kuna mahali imefika mwisho kwa kona inakatwa pia 
sasa lazima akuwe na extra kidogo kama okay depending na na quantity anaipea kwa mfano kama hii ni around 250 kwa hii block moja 250 square meter eh uh-huh. uh-huh. anaipea around 10 square meters ama 5 square meters to build the safe side ndiweze kutoshia sasa situation kama hapa eh inakuona umesema kutoka hapa hadi hapa azifanani azitoshani yeah. sasa hii ni kukatwa ili kuwa tuzi the same size imekatwa ikapungua mm. sasa lazima tu kukue na hizo cuttings ndio ina fit vizuri okay eh. after kuweka mawe imewekwa tu kama tu sahihi vile wanaendelea ni nini itafanyika after kuweka, kuweka? sasa hivi imewekwa inakuja inajazwa hizi gaps inajazwa hizo gaps alafu inapigwa na wire brush ndio hiyo excess ni ilikuwa imewekwa itoke ikishatoka sasa inaweza oshwa ikioshwa ipewe sema maximum one week ipewe one week ikauke vizuri nyingine ni wet nyingine ni dry ikauke vizuri ikishakauka sasa unaweza apply eh, inaitwa transil kut moja hiyo ina protect sasa ile kama huku chini kuna red soil e, kukinyesha unajua hiyo red soil itakuja kwa ukuta kama imepakwa hiyo rangi mm. haita haitashika hii mawe especially hii mawe bright haitashika sasa hata ikioshwa inangara yeah e, hiyo ndio muhimu wa kupaka although kuna clients wengine wana insist kae tu venye iko natural na iko tu sawa yeah. e, sababu kama huku ukiangalia kutopanda nyasi sasa over time haitakuwa na hii red soil. So hakutakuwa na hiyo issue ya mbele ya uchafu ya eh. okay. Na labor cost ya hii eh. how much? Labor. Sasa hii mpanda kidogo tunafanya na between 600 to 800 per square meter installation cost depending na size ya mawe. Hizi mm-hmm. mawe venye ni ndogo ndio ina take time kwa fundi kujenga sasa hiyo ina take time kwa hiyo hiyo itakuwa expensive kidogo hiyo ndio itakuja around 7 to 800 per square meter lakini hizi zina range between 600 to 700 pia depending on wapi zinawekwa sababu kazi ya kuweka kama hizi running walls ni rahisi kushinda kuweka kwa pillar na chimney na kama chimney eh sababu kwa chimney na pila kuna cuttings nyingi hapa kuna cutting nyingi. Yeah. Sasa kuna vitu pia kadhaa za kuconsider lakini ina range between sema 600 to 800 per square meter. Okay. Yeah. Kwa channel yangu nimeongelea sana kuhusu maneno ya precast of prefab technology na juu imetengenezwa na concrete haina haja ya kupiga plaster unlike kwenye nyumba juu imetengenezwa na mawe alafu ikakuja kupigwa plaster kuna tofauti kwa application ya stone cladding sasa sasa hii ni rough mm-hmm. na precast bado ni rough sasa hakuna tofauti yote kwa hivyo wakati wa kuweka hata nyumba ya precast inawekwa tu na inafanana na hizi tu hazina tofauti yote oh eh. sawa so. i hope this video has sparked a lot of ideas in your mind when it comes to finishing your home using stone cladding tiles. You'll agree with me that those houses look stunning with the white wall master finish at the top and the bush cladding finish at the bottom of the exterior facade. I'll try to explore more stone cladding projects in future and publish them on the channel. If you found this video useful, like it and share widely with your circle. Also, check out Gemna Mazeras Facebook page and like it while you're there. To learn how stone cladding tiles are made, then watch this video up next.